afternoon, I'm Rachel Hart. And I'm Logan Weeder, and this is Wolfpack News for Monday, September 15th, 2014. The homecoming dance is October 11th. Any student planning to attend with a guest who is not an OE student must turn in a guest pass to the Dean's Office. Guest passes can be found in the Dean's Office or online and must be turned in by October 1st. No exceptions. The LRC is waiving all book fees this entire week. The LRC is looking for all their missing books, so please return them to their home. If you wish to pay your book fee from the previous year, it will be 50% off. Mosaic's next meeting is this Thursday after school in room F231. Anyone wanting to join is welcome to come. There will be a free snack and drink. Aurora East High School is hosting the National Hispanic College Fair on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 1020 a.m. There will be more than 50 colleges and universities represented. Go down to Student Services for more information. The PSAT will be offered here at East on Saturday, October 18th. The PSAT is an optional test. If you'd like to sign up, go to Student Services. The test fee is $20. Row Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society applicants are, applications are due to Miss Kyrus or Miss Davies by this Wednesday. Any sophomores interested in becoming part of the sophomore class committee should come to the first meeting today after school in room E392. Bring ideas for a t-shirt design for a class color day during homecoming week. Contact Mrs. Newton with any questions. The first League of United Latin American Citizens meeting will be held this Wednesday after school in J107. If you have any questions, see Joe Sanchez or Daisy Oseguera. At the beginning of the school year, students are getting used to a new routine and making new friends. This can sometimes result in feeling out of place. According, according to NoBullying.com, one in three students in America claim they have been bullied. Hate Free at OE is a club here at OE that helps students prevent bullying and take a stand against it. Mr. Sweeney is one of the founders and chairs of the ensure that all students are aware that bullying does, does occur. Students who have been bullied should definitely tell somebody about it. It doesn't have to be a teacher, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, you know, your parents, but just tell someone if it's, if, it's, if it's a friend who can speak on your behalf. Because it can, if it, it's getting out of hand, then you want to let somebody know. It is important for everyone at OE to educate themselves about bullying and spread kindness throughout the school. Seniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for National Honor Society membership. Download the necessary forms from Mrs. Calvi's website or see Mrs. Calvi in the English Department office with any questions. The teacher recommendations and the interest inventory are due no later than Friday, October 3rd. Business Club's first meeting is today in room C111. See Mr. Brown with any questions. Mu Alpha Theta is accepting new members. In order to join, you need to have a math GPA of 3.7 or higher, as well as completed Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 honors. If you qualify, pick up an application outside of the math office, E380. Applications are due by September 29th. See Ms. Newton or Mrs. Gossett with questions. The Future Educators Association is also looking for members. FEA is a group that is open to any student who is interested in becoming a teacher or working with children. Sign up with Mrs. Van Wee and turn, and turn in the yearly dues. All grade levels are invited to attend a college visit through the end of September for Iowa Wesleyan, Ferris State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent State, and Truman University. See Mrs. Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. If you're looking for service hours, Boulder Hill Elementary School has several events coming up and they need volunteers. Go to Student Services to sign up. Talk leadership applications are available for pickup in Student Services. Visit Student Services with any questions. And now it's time for sports. Here's Melissa. Congratulations to the girls' cross-country team for their success over the weekend. On Thursday, the Wolves beat both Oswego and Romeoville, but, but fell to Manuka at a super quad meet. On Saturday, the varsity team competed in Peoria at the first to finish Invitational. Abby Kane led the pack, placing 46th out of over 300 runners. She was followed by Alexis Hens and Abby, Abby Flammersfeld. Every athlete set a season personal best, making for a very successful meet. Great job, ladies. The girls varsity tennis team finished in second this weekend at the Lincoln Way East 16 team varsity tennis invitational. Jair Harlow at first singles and Kirtana Koda and Haley Klebanoff at second doubles all took second place. Lena Huang and Lexi Blackman took first singles or at first singles suffered their first losses of the season finishing in fourth place. The Lady Wolves are back in action today against Yorkville. 
There will be an informational meeting today after school in the Commons for any girls interested in playing powder puff football and boys interested in coaching. Please see Mrs. Kyrus if you have any questions. Freshman soccer continues its winning streak by defeating the Lockport Porters 6-1. Manuel Magaña, Justin Jones, Kai Hallam, Juan Vega, and Sam Marks' two goals were all, cre were all created by a great team effort. The freshmen are now 4-0. and zero. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the anchor desk. And finally, juniors and seniors who want to pursue a degree in the healthcare field can get experience at the Dr. Rubens Mini Medical School in January 2015. If interested, fill out an application in student services and turn it in by October 10th. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Rachel Hart. And I'm Logan Weeder. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.